blow the roof off of this place. People like watching the ladies play. Right? Three five minute rounds. 115, the name of the game. Here we go. Garbin in the black. Dos Santos in the white. Both of these athletes with the bounce, and it's Dos Santos that attacks first, the lead leg. Stiff dab by Lindsay. Nice body kick by DeSantos. I like how relaxed DeSantos is. Very calm. Answers with her own jab. Ooh, nice cross by DeSantos. Lindsay's got to move that head. It's one of the things we know that she's good at, is moving her head. <laughs> Looking for the nice throw, Julia gets Tass. it, beautiful stuff by Dos Santos. And he's stuck in the bottom of the half guard here. Dos Santos, he's gonna keep that pressure on her. Santo super calm. Very calm. Only two and one, but looks like she's been here many yeah. more times than that. And as you pointed out earlier, that's the importance of that amateur background. If you can establish X amount of fights, it's an easier transition, I would imagine, into the professional game. Absolutely. The more you can get in there, under the lights, in front of the crowd, the more comfortable you get. It took me about 10 pro fights to actually feel hmm. comfortable in there. I'm just stuck in half guard here. I can regain full guard. Nice back step by De Santos in a cross side position. Nice pass by Kasanko. Ooh, nice up kick. Kasanko's right on her. Looking for her submission perhaps. Or just using it to get to a better spot. Kasanko's looking to hunt for that leg. Both girls looking to hunt for that leg. And the team does not want Lindsey Garbutt to go for that ankle lock. It's one of those things, unless you're super confident, it's kind of a crapshoot. Who grabs it first? Both ladies back to their feet. It's amazing how looks can be deceiving. Very much. <laughs> Two sweet looking girls. <laughs> now they're battling out. Nice exchange and nice double leg by Lindsay. Drives her in the fence. Los Santos stuck with her head wedged against that cage. Looking like she's hunting for that arm yep. and guillotine there. Threatening. But Hard does she have the awareness? Hard to get when you're in that position. Lindsay doing a good job of stuffing her against that wall. Great spot to be, your corner right beside you as well, right in your ear. What, is the what, what do you believe the judges are looking at in this position? Are they looking at... Lindsay, who's on top, or Dos Santos, who's kind of had the arm wrapped around the head, that, looking for a submission. That's the thing. Uh, you know, it used to be, you know, wrestlers get on top, they're winning the round, and that's how they did it. Now it's kind of evolving a bit more. You're seeing submission attempts count for more, which I agree they should. But if you have one submission and you're kind of stuck there not doing anything else, it's kind of hard to judge. I'm glad I'm not one. But shouldn't it be real submissions? You can't just wrap your arm around and say, hey, look, well, I was going for a guillotine. Absolutely. I think they need to be threatening. Yeah. 
And Garbutt out, finally. What type of damage can the Canadian do with less than 10 seconds remaining in the opening frame? Clean down some punches and finish the round with an exclamation point. Close round. Very close round. Interesting to see how the judges score that. Dos Santos, the better first half of the round. Lindsay finishing strong. Don't want to put you on the spot, but if you had to be a judge, objectively speaking, who do you believe won that round? Oh, put me on the spot. Yeah, I know. I, know. <laughs> um, I mean, Dos Santos was threatening more for submissions earlier in, sure. in that round. Uh, they both got a takedown each. The striking was pretty close. Honestly, it's a toss-up, depending how you're looking at it. Maybe who finishes stronger, right. that would be Lindsay. Both look, girls look like they're in good shape. Yes, not, indeed. Not breathing heavy at all yet. A round kick telegraphed. Big looping right hand just misses the mark. And DeSantos capitalizes. Hunting for that neck. DeSantos ends up on top now. Looking to pass that guard. Good body awareness by De Santos, making Lindsay carry her weight. It feels like jiu-jitsu is her main arm. It looks like it, yeah. definitely. Very aware on the ground. Santos passing again, and she's off the cage. The better spot for her. Nice ground and pound by De Santos. Do you believe it's important to have a base art in mixed martial arts? Something that you focus on that's your strength? I feel it does help. You see a lot of like wrestlers transition in the man. They seem to have the most success, but in today's era, it kind of seems like everybody's starting off with mixed yeah. martial arts. And I think that's the future. Santos just relaxing on top. Lindsay's got that half butterfly. Looking like she's just trying to keep, That's it. keep tight. Hoping Maybe the ref will stand them up. Looking for a stand up. I know when I talked to Big John McCarthy, he was saying in this situation, if someone's just holding them down, he won't stand them up because he feels they're stalling on the bottom. So it's depending how the referee is looking at it. The Santos trying to get past the guard. And there it is. Referee standing them up. Was that a gift? Let's see if Lindsay can capitalize on this. Ooh, nice return from the Santos. Santos yeah. aggressive. Nice, nice exchange by both women. Body kick by DeSantos. No nice. fear from Ryan DeSantos. Both ladies swinging. Wow, good exchanges there. Oh, DeSantos jumps to the back. He's got to be careful. Watch out for that arm in that triangle. Looks like she's aware of it. 
Her coaches shouting instructions right in her face. Yes, good. These short strikes, yep. that's what make a move. They'll get you out of a bad situation. We're back to that position we finished the last round in here. And I guess if you're going to lose a part of the round, might as well lose the first part. Exactly, finish strong. Always try and finish strong. Garbage is trying to crush the Santos. Not allow any type of submissions to come up. As we've seen, the Santos more than willing to attack from her back. Use the cage and let's work to pin that Santos looking to swim. Use the cage. Looks to hunt for an arm. He's aware of it. Looks like she's going for Omoplata. Very crafty is De Santos with Garvin up to the task. This is where she pulls away. Now De Santos is talking that leg again. Referee warns her for holding the cage. Garvin hammering away at the cranium of De Santos. This is a way to get out of a knee bar attempt. Pound away. Nice exchange by the ladies. Excellent stuff and Garvin quickly wants to prove that she's fresher as she gets back to her feet. I am happy I am not a judge. Again, another round where, what do you do? I think on the feet, Dos Santos landed the bigger shots. Was going for submission attempts. Anybody's with fight. those elbow strikes and punches at the end of the round by Garvin. Anybody's fight, I think this is this round of the, you need a solid, solid round to seal a win here. De Santos, you see her legs elevated. I trying to catch her breath. How much she was training before this fight if she was you know, not given a full training camp. Going later in the fight will definitely favor Lindsay. Maybe that's why she came out aggressive. Maybe. He got two rounds. Trying to empty the tank, get it done quick. Again, DeSantos in the white, Garbett in the black, third and final round. Let's do the nice inside leg kick. I like that DeSantos is willing to do whatever, throw any, any type of attack that she can think of. Very unorthodox, just throws different angles, everything at yeah. you. Nice strike on the break there by Lindsay. The Santos big wind up. Ooh, nice Garvin. job by Lindsay. Yeah. Nice exchange by the <laughs> Santos. This is excellent stuff. Lindsay's got to watch her neck here. The Santos jumping that guillotine. Can't tell how deep this is in. Looks like her head's starting to pop out. She might try to readjust her grip here. Lindsay looks like she got her chin down now. And Dosanos abandons it. She's gonna look to try and take the back here. And there it is. Lindsay's still got an arm. Lindsay needs to turn it. There it is, good job. Good awareness. Nice knee by the Santos. The Santos certainly means business. Another knee on the cage. Lindsay looking for that big double leg. She leave her neck out. She gets the slam, but will the Santos lock up that guillotine choke? This is the downside of going for a choke like that. You don't get it, now you're on your back with somebody on top of you, pressed against the cage. It looks like she's starting to set up a sweep with that right leg. Lindsay 
Lindsay needs to pull her back off that cage, make it so her head's wedged against, and then posture up, putting all that pressure on her. The more Dos Santos sits up, the better chance of finishing this. Dos Santos just holding on right now. Garbutt now free. Can she administer punishment from this position? This corner is looking to throw her to back away, let her on her feet. Nice jab by Lindsay. Santos looking to return. Eats a nice jab for it. Nice head kick. Ooh, that one the certainly got. Both ladies are swinging. That one got to Santos's attention, but I will tell you, she is tough as nails. Wow. Oh, Lindsay looks to the same side. Head kick to hit that leg. But Santos again hunting that leg right away. Yeah, this is this the defense for it, though. Someone tries to go for that knee bar, pound away. Punch them in the face, and this is exactly what Garbutt's team wants. Garbutt's team screaming elbows. Looks like she might give up her back here on the way up. DeSantos collapsing. But you wouldn't even believe that she was in a fist fight by the, by the reaction on her face. Very calm. Yeah. Even throughout these wild exchanges. Ten seconds left. Lindsay shoots for that double. Looking to pull her off the wall. Looking Big for the slam. slam and gets it. An emphatic wow. statement made to the judges. Great fight. Really good fight. Both ladies left it all out there, that's for sure.